sees as we take a look at the competitors for the gold medal matchup of the compound mixed team. First off, target number one, the local favorite Team Italy. FIFA ranks number sixth overall. They qualified ninth. It's the team of Sergio Pani and uh, Marcella Tolioni. They defeated uh, Denmark, set a world record, as we'll talk about a little bit later on, against Belgium, 158-154. They knocked off, they knocked off Belgium, and of course they knocked off Korea to get here in this matchup. And you can hear the roar of the crowd uh, as they anticipate something big here. Their opponents, however, not to be taken for granted. Target number two from the Netherlands, FIFA World Ranking of number eight. They qualified seventh in this tournament. It's, it's Peter Alzinger and Inga Van Kaspel defeated Venezuela. A close matchup with Canada at 153-152, and then they knocked off the Islamic Republic of Iran to meet Italy here in the gold medal matchup of the compound mixed team event. And, and right now, uh, the competitors getting those final uh, butterflies, nerves out of the system. And, and when you're at that sort of stage there, knowing that you're about to compete for a gold medal, what's going through your mind? Uh, the biggest thing is, you get, you're going to maintain them butterflies until your first arrow shot. You know, until that one's gone out of the bow, you you remain pretty nervous. You think about it a lot the night before? A little bit. You, you, you just want to go in there with a, a kind of a game plan to make sure that you put a pressure on the other team early. Right. You, know, you want to come out of the gate hot. And we are underway. The Netherlands will be first to shoot in this competition on target number two. Inga Van Kaspel with uh, her first the shot. Opening arrow is a nine. Opening arrow is a nine. Peter Alzinger. Yeah, Peter's a great shot. I mean, we're talking about the world record holder in the FIDA. He actually holds the 50 meter world record. Oh, hold. he does, okay. Does. Yep, so we're talking an extremely well shooter. Veteran, veteran of the sport. Absolutely. Yep. And a great guy. Starts off with the 10. 19 with their combined first two shots as we turn things over to target number one in Team Italy. Starts off with a 10. Yes, Sergio sir. Pani. Absolutely. One of the probably the greatest archers that's out there right now. I mean on a roll, won the World Cups the last two years in a row, so. Sergio Pani will line her probably attack. Nine liner they'll call it, but uh, that does look like a 10, doesn't it? It does look like a 10. They'll take a closer look at it once these arrows are complete, but officially, well, I guess we can say unofficially right now, it's 19. A lot better shot from Inga right there. She was a lot salt more, more solid as she came through. You didn't see the bow drop compared to her first shot. Inga rebounds, as you mentioned, with a 10. Her first shot was a 9. And Peter Alzinger with his second shot. And there's a 10. 10. Is also a 10. 39 of a possible 40 points for the Dutch. See, we're looking at some good scores already this morning. I mean, we had... Iran and Korea started out 38-39, so scores are maintaining right now. And we can see the flags are picking up a little bit through the venue, so. But she maintains, puts it in the middle. Back-to-back -back tens. Sergio Pani with his second shot. It's a 10x. I mean, 39, 39. Uh, looks like it probably will be a 40 for Italy, but we'll yep. see from the judges. But, I mean, like I said, excellent shooting out there right now. We'll get confirmation on that, as you mentioned there. There's that nine star on the board, but uh, all indications looking at it here in our monitors, you know, that, that most likely is a 10, and, and just a fantastic way to start off this first 10 with a 40 of a possible 40 points. And then the home crowd's got to enjoy that, you know. It's nothing better than to come out and see who you want to win in your own country and, and see them performing well.
Just a quick reminder that this is the uh, first team event that will uh, crown a world title. So history made here in Torino, Italy in 2011. We talked about it a little bit earlier on in our cast here, Logan, that uh, the Italian team setting a world record of 158 against Belgium. It was the 1-4 elimination round, and and, and they, uh, they're they on pace right here to maybe yeah. even challenge that. Absolutely. <laughs> and, but let's, I mean, like I said, can't put the cart before the horse. I mean, we've only we've only shot, you know, four arrows for each each team. So no, there's exactly. still a long ways to go, and we could be looking at, you know, Netherlands cleaning from here out, and they could set the world record, and yeah. maybe Italy falls off a little bit. So there's a lot of things that can happen in these next eight arrows. No, absolutely. There's uh, uh, the margin of error as far as setting a world record in, in a pressure event like this is uh, would just be phenomenal. But uh, a great start nonetheless, and. Uh, as you uh, saw on the screen there, the team from Italy, a perfect 40 of 40. That nine star was recorded as a 10. And uh, we are underway here with uh, a 10. the fifth arrow for the Dutch. It's still strong shooting out there. I mean, it's like the scores could be really good today. I mean, we could be looking at some world records even here in the future rounds. So. And a nine, just out. A 10 and a nine. Marcello Tonioni. See, we're getting some really great shots. You can see the level in the scope again. Kind of help, you'll see that, you know, th that'll help with the left and right. But left and right still good. She's just a little tall. Now you talked about the scope there. Is that is that what the uh, what archers are going to be looking at when they're on the line, or, or how does that you know take us through what uh, Sergio is looking at right now? Yeah, he's got his peep sight back on the string that he looks through and centers up through his uh, scope, Sergio and that helps magnify the target. Well, so okay, you know, it, it allows you to get a little bit clearer vision of what you're looking at. Tied at the score. And then the level is, you know, that's something that the recurvers don't get, and it helps out the compounders tremendously. We get a bird's eye view of the bow. And a fantastic shot by Inga. That's her second straight 10 yep. of this end. And with the two nines by Italy, as long as uh, Peter can put one in the 10 ring right here, you know, they're going to put the pressure back on Italy. Peter with a nine just out. Just out of side of the uh, 10 range. Recorded as a nine. They'll finish this end with a 38 of a possible 40 points. Almost missing an opportunity, so to speak. Absolutely. They, they may look back at this end and say, you know what, this this could have been this could have been one of our uh, situations where we could have uh, you know chipped away at that lead. Yeah, it could have capitalized. I mean, we could have come into this end and been tied after the first eight arrows. So. Sergio's looking at five seconds left on the clock. And it shouldn't be a problem for him. Two seconds left. A ten. Delivers a 10. One point advantage for Italy, 78-77. We're at the halfway point of this gold medal matchup here at the compound mixed team. Crown the first ever champion in this category, which, uh, you know, is that surprising to you that this is our first one considering the mixed team event has been part of the World Cup for uh, a little bit of time? Uh, yeah, but it's 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 nice to get, you know, some of these countries that can't afford to send a full team that they can actually compete in a team event. I know we're still looking at teams that have full teams that are, you know, the, the quote unquote, the juggernauts of the divisions. Yep. But, you know, it, it helps out these other, you know, these other countries that just don't, they can't fill the full team. And so I think it's going to be a great part going forward. Yeah, you make a really good point because there's some countries out there that will have the, the one male and one female athlete. And before the mixed team event even existed, well, they were just in the individual event and that's it. Absolutely. And it, you know, as an archer, you want to shoot as much as possible when you come to these tournaments. I, I mean, we all want to win, but it just gives them something else to participate in and, and possibly win a medal. 
Now, in a situation, you talked about some of the juggernauts like the the Americans, the, the Koreans, uh, a lot of the other European nations. Uh, the Italians would be another good example of that. How do you determine, uh, you know, which, how the teams are mixed up? Is that a coaching move as far as uh, coaches placing the male and the female archers together? Or is there some sort of, uh, I guess, bond that, you know, your style works with my style, we'd make a good team. How does that work? Um, I can't tell you as far as the other countries go. I know in the U.S. we basic we base it off the qualifier. So the okay. number one r compound male will shoot with the number one compound female. Mm. Nine, and Peter's been a little on that high left side the last couple arrows. So nineteen points with their first two arrows. I believe that's uh, three straight tens for Inga. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to need a little help from Italy here if they're going to make a move. 10x. 10x. With shots like that, they're not going to make much ground. They're not taking the foot off the gas, so to speak. Sergio Pani. Ten. Also nails a 10, increasing that lead to two points. And yeah, now the mindset in the team from Netherlands, they're kind of thinking, you know, we've got to put some in the 10, which now is putting a little bit more pressure on yourself because you can't afford to put any, you know, shoot more nines right now. That one looks like it's going to be a 10. I, I would agree with that. That almost looks like that bit for sure. Great cr camera angles there by our staff here. Let's see if Peter can get that left side corrected and get it back in the middle. There's a 10. Absolutely. He's on the right side a little bit. He'll probably give it one click, you know, bring it back a little. And, you know, they may be back on their right track. Now, when you say one click, just an adjustment in the bow? Absolutely. Right in the side, they have what they call clicks. Okay. So one click will bring it over just, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch. The precision of the sport is just remarkable coming from, you know, somebody like myself that isn't as familiar as, you know, yourself and, and some of the uh, world-class archers here. But just the, the technical aspects that like you just mentioned is just, just astounding sometimes to hear. He's got one second. Got it off. On the spider. I mean, wow. What more can you ask for from Sergio Pagne? That's four straight tens in that end. And Boy, you talk about a team being in the zone, that's exactly what the Italian team is right now. And high fives all around <laughs> as we take a look at Sergio Pani with the money shot. Absolutely, with one second left. <laughs> Not a lot of people in the world that can do shots like that. I think he's kind of joking about it there too, uh, referring to uh, the clock that you just mentioned. Uh, <laughs> And it's kind of deflating when you're, other, you're, you're the other team and you sit down and you look at it and you're like, oh, you know, time's running out. You're like, maybe we got a chance. And <laughs> they shoot a shot right dead in the middle, hits the spider, and it yeah. kind of kind of deflates you a little bit. Two, uh, make that a three-point lead for uh, Team Italy, 118-115 as we are going to be approaching our final four arrows. And we take a look at that last end with some of the shooting from both sides. and. <laughs> Four tens on the Italian side, including that last ten with the uh, dying seconds. I, 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 that might have even been uh, less than a second if there was an extra Absolutely. tick of the clock there. <laughs> Two point lead with four arrows. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a tall mountain to climb here in this gold medal matchup. Uh, nevertheless, as long as Inka keeps on her pace and Peter picks it up, I mean we could we could be looking at a really great last end. Final four arrows of this gold medal matchup in the compound mixed team event. The Netherlands on target number two will be up first as we get a close-up view of Inga van Kaspel. Nine. And they're having a little problem staying on that left side. Maybe the wind's getting to them a little bit more than what we can see out there. We take a look at the wind socks and, and virtually not even moving, but uh, as you just mentioned there, Logan, it's, uh, it's a completely different uh, aspect of it when you're 
when you're staring down the target and you, you can feel exactly that, hey, you know what, there is a little bit of wind here, we got to adjust. Absolutely. So it looks like we're the Italians on that on that shot, you know, they're on the left side as well. So, you know, maybe it is something that we have to look forward to and kind of pay attention to the rest of the matches coming forward. Just out. See, absolutely. I mean, we're actually seeing a different, different little bit where the wind is actually showing on the screen, but you know, it feels like it's blowing from a totally different direction down on the target. And four nines by the four athletes will will prove just that. Absolutely. Nine. And what's interesting, if you could see the targets, the flags right above the targets are barely moving, but the flags throughout the venue are definitely starting to pick up. Peter Elzinger with his last shot. They're calling it a 9-10 liner, but it, it appears to be a 9. Final two arrows of this gold medal matchup. Nine. Nine. Last shot we're definitely, like I said, you know, we we can only see what the flags are doing, but we don't know exactly how it's blowing on the archers. It, it could be moving their bows just a little bit. Final shot here in this matchup, Sergio Pani for the victory. As he's running down time on the clock. Gold medal for the Italians here on home soil. Hugs and high fives everywhere as they capture the first ever mixed team event in the compound division. Italy gold medalists and uh, some great shooting there to capture that first gold medal in this event. Absolutely, and I guess it's only fitting that it happens on their own soil, so. <laughs> I mean, there was great shooting all the way around. You know, the last couple ends look, you know, to be a little tricky, but still great shooting from the archers. High fives, hugs, kisses everywhere. The Italians victorious here in Torino, Italy at the 2011 World Championships. Gold medal champions in the compound mixed team event. The Netherlands will settle for silver. Final score, and this one was 154-151, uh, was it? I missed that I last. I do believe. Actually, I do believe they're at 152. 152.